Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a second uh, season two for the Walking Dead predictions video. I'm going to go ahead and update what I think. Some things that I thought were going to happen, um, I now don't believe are going to happen this season. Could possibly happen in another season. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and just start off. I really hope that there isn't a time skip between eh, after eh, after what happened and that they resume right after Liza's death. Um, the group that uh, the group obviously does need to get to the ship, so that way they can they can start kind of going around doing what they need to. On the way there, I think that they'll run into the survivor from Flight 462, or maybe they'll, uh, the the uh, the survivor got to the ship before our uh, before our group gets there. And with that, there are actually maybe other people that have made it to the ship and are now holding and now actually holding it. And I could actually see a fight breaking out because of this. So um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and go to places that they actually pr could probably go. I don't think they're going to go the northern route anymore, and obviously they're not going to go further inland. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I believe that the viable options are Coronado Island, which is actually kind of really close. They might meet up with people there, might meet up with zombies, of course. Um, the place could be overrun. Catalina Island just as well. It's It has fishing. It's a, it has a nature retreat and other things like that. So that could be interesting. Um, Hawaii, the Baja Peninsula, and Mexico um, are all... Eh, are all places that they probably could go now from what i've read and heard they started doing um there's a picture studio down in the baja peninsula of mexico that they started filming in months ago so obviously perfect place for them to film some of the scenes there especially if they're going to be going to the baja peninsula um hawaii actually be really interesting to see especially with zombies and see how things go and seeing you know how the maybe the natives have handled it um, and also to see the monuments that are there, the Pearl Harbor monuments, and and seeing how they've you know kind of degenerated. I mean, it wouldn't be that much because it's just early in the zombie apocalypse. But with all the blood and everything, it could be actually kind of interesting to see. Um, <clears throat> now, as for the entire group itself, I really do think there is going to be a power struggle, and I think it's going to be between the top three, which is Travis, Madison, and Victor. Victor, obviously, he owns the ship, so I could see him if the two, if Madison and Travis kind of team up and and kind of vote for something else. I could see, I could see Victor holding the ship kind of hostage and saying, "Well, it's my ship. I don't want to go here. We're not heading there." Um, and I can, I could see some of the care. I could see kind of the shift in in the characters and who's going to follow who because Liza's death and because Travis fought. Hey, because Travis. Um, killed, um, killed Liza. His son might actually start, might start going with Victor and you know kind of siding with Victor a little bit more, just because he would probably hate his father right now and understandably so, even though she was, even though she was going to turn. Um, <clears throat> there will be new characters introduced. Obviously, one of them is going to be the from uh, one of the characters from Flight 462. Actually, I kind of hope it's two of them. I hope it's the kid, and I hope it's the yeah, I hope it's the Asian lady. Sorry, and the reason why is I think that even though the the boy has curiosity, and that's probably going to kill him, that could also kind of save him uh, too in the fact of him finding something. Um, the Asian lady knows what she's looking at and knows how things kind of go. So yeah, I mean, there's going to be other characters as well out there that are going to show up. Um, I'm really hoping that uh, Tobias shows up in Season 2, uh, possibly when they're trying to go to the ship. That would actually be kind of interesting. Um, the major threats to the characters. I mean, the military is still a major threat. There's military bases, there's ships, there's other things like that. And obviously, the ships that are out to sea really haven't been you know, dealing with personally now i mean you know firing and bombarding and things like that yeah but i'm not meaning up close and personal so and survivors that they're taking from mainland to on aircraft carriers and other things like that so the navy still is actually a pretty big threat at the very beginning of the zombie apocalypse especially for if they believe ships don't have any survivors on them so i could see the the yacht being kind of fired on once or twice you know, depending on the situation and what happens. 
Um, and it actually would also be interesting to see, you know, after some period of time. Sorry if you hear noise. There are kids in the background. Oh, there's kids. I'm over at my girlfriend's place. And, uh, yeah, they like to be a little bit loud from time to time. <laughs> As such, and uh, it would be interesting to see the evolution of this, of the society, especially military society, if that actually happens, or are they going to actually keep their you know their standard and their standards and codes and everything that's kind of going on? Um, if they go to Mexico, the Mexican cartels would be a major threat, especially if they're claiming land and saying that it's theirs, and people that go there or travel through have to pay some sort of tribute, or you know they get shot, or whatever the case may be. And, I mean, the Mexican cartels would definitely want a yacht. Who wouldn't? You can actually go be on a ship, go onto the mainland when you want to, and the retreat, and you're away from the zombies. So, I mean, their ship is probably going to be under threat quite a few times within this entire season. And uh, as for Season 3, I can see them at the end of Season 2 probably going back to landing on land, possibly being in, like, San Diego or northern Mexico. Um, or possibly even heading a little bit more north than that in Los Angeles, and possibly heading inland. I mean, the other possibility is is for Season 3, they, instead of going south, they go north. So they go to places like San Francisco, Oregon, other things like that. But from what, it's, from what it sounded like in the Talking Dead episode after uh, Season 1 ended, is that people are going to be wondering... Why aren't the survivors getting off the ship and going onto the mainland because of where everything that they're going to is so dangerous? So it seems like they're making the seas a little bit more dangerous than the land at this point in time. But it's actually a nice, interesting, different perspective to see on what's actually going on. Do I think they're actually going to go towards Asia? No. I don't think they're going to go towards Asia at all. I don't think they're going to hit Japan, South Korea, um, Australia, or any place like that. If they do, I would be actually really highly interested in seeing how things go and i would be shocked but i don't think it's going to happen uh so for that i'm going to go ahead and end this video if you like the video please click like if you want to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel please leave a comment below on what you all think is going to happen so with that thank you y'all have a good day